December 31st, 2020 was the day when everything changed. What's up, bro? I'm Luke. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I replaced my gaming addiction with coding and actually made a career for myself from that. Now, this video is heavily inspired by Big Box V. I saw his video about replacing gaming with coding and I thought to myself like, damn, bro, I went through something extremely similar. So I had to make a video about it because I know I can provide value for you guys. So for as long as I can remember, I've always been a gamer. Ever since my family got our first computer, I was playing those shitty little web games. And from there, it graduated to Nintendo DS. I had like thousands of hours in Pokemon and from there to like PS3, PS4 and eventually PC. Now it got to a point where I was legit that kid who ran home from school just so he can hop on Call of Duty as fast as possible. Now I really had no direction in life. My grades were terrible, my physique looked terrible, everything was terrible. You know I even used to play football from like 4 years old all the way to 14 years old but I quit that because I wanted to play more video games. I even wanted to start a YouTube channel but I was too scared of what other kids might say which is hilarious because now I don't give a f I'm just making these videos and if even one person gets value from this then that's fine by me I'll continue making them. Now because of my lack of interest in school it took me one year extra to graduate from high school which is insane. People thought I was actually brain dead. And when I finally graduated, I had the absolute worst grades possible. I'll add a picture somewhere here so you can see. So after high school, nothing had changed. I still had my shit grades. I still had no direction in life, but now I had to go to the military for six months because here in Finland, every male from age 18 to 28 has to go to military or civil service. And there's the stigma where all the go to the civil service and all the real men go to the military. And I thought to myself like, you're a real man, you're going to the military, mother now I wish this would be the point where I would say like And after the military I came out a new man and everything was changed from that point on But actually nothing had changed I was now 21 years old living in my mom's basement I was literally living in my mom's basement I had a picture here And now I had to get a job And keep in mind I had no skills, no experience in life, no nothing Only thing I could do is get a job at the construction site Now at this point I literally hated my life All my free time was spent gaming because that's the only escape I could have Now this went on for a couple of months Finally my friend told me that he had been doing this coding course and that I should try it out. Now my first reaction was that I was too stupid to code, I was always bad at school, things of this nature. Thought to myself like, hey bro, you have nothing to lose, why not give it a go? Your current situation is terrible, how much lower can you go? Now December 31st, 2020 was the day when everything changed. I finally took action on the coding course and ever since my first hello world, I was hooked. And I know that date sounds like bullshit, but I'll add a picture here. I saved a photo of my first line of code ever. And it says like December 31st, 2020. Now I quickly realized that I was getting the same high from coding as I was getting from video games. Now this is the point where I realized that I was never actually addicted to gaming. I was addicted to the feeling you get when you level up in these games. When you finally unlock that diamond camo in Black Ops 2, or when you rank up in CSGO. And for the first time in my life, that feeling was now being matched by doing something productive. So I made it my life's mission to get into a university here in Helsinki to study computer science. Now keep in mind, my high school grades were terrible. So this was an uphill battle for me. I didn't even know how to study because I never even studied in my life. But for the first time ever, studying didn't feel like studying. I was excited to learn about these new concepts and topics. So I just knew at the back of my head that I needed to keep going. And long behold, against all the odds, Six months later, I was accepted into the CS program. Then after my freshman year, I got an internship and that internship eventually led to a full-time offer that I'm now working at as a full stack engineer. I'll make a dedicated video for the process of how I got my first internship and my full-time job. So what are the lessons here? Start introducing different habits to your life that will take your time away from video games, something that you enjoy. Coding is a good one if you want to have a career in tech and the gym is also a great one. You know, the gym and coding actually complement each other pretty well. Let me explain. Now to become a good engineer, you need to upgrade your operating system, your mind. And in order to do that, you need to upgrade the underlying hardware first. It's the exact same situation as it is with the iPhones. You can't run the newest iOS, on iPhone 4, right? Just apply that same logic in the real life. Also, the gym will improve your confidence by a lot because you prove to yourself, yourself, that you can stick to something hard and not quit. The second lesson is that if you're truly interested in tech, don't let anyone tell you that you're too stupid for the industry. If you actually want to make this a career for yourself, then hard work beats talent every time. And if you feel like you can do it, just listen to this video again, bro. Look at what I went through to get here. I went from a complete loser who took one year extra to graduate from high school think about it, to a software engineer. And I was able to do this, not because I was a genius, but because I put in the effort and because I loved the process. But anyways, if you feel like there's something I could help you with, leave a comment down below, bro. I'll answer to you. I promise I'll answer to you and I'll help you out. Now, if you made it all the way to the end, leave a like for the algorithm. It would help me so much. I would be super grateful for you. Also subscribe to my channel if you're interested in tech, self-development, things of this nature. I'll be documenting my journey, traveling through the metaverse and becoming the top suite. Peace, bro.